Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the seventh lesson of how to play the flute in 14 days. I hope you've had fun so far and seen some of the most beautiful concert halls. And today we are in another one. You might have seen it in TV, I'm not sure. You might have, but you will have heard of its acoustics because it's one of the three best concert halls in the world. And we have already been in the other two. This is why I chose to come here today. The other two were the Musikverein, the Golden Hall in Vienna, and where we were yesterday in the Konzertgebouw in Amsterdam. So today, where are we? This is the uh, Boston Symphony Hall. It uh, is famous for concerts from all different styles of music. You can get rock, classical, pop, jazz, and um, it's very, very, very active. At least it has been, unfortunately, for this time of the, uh, the moment. So in the moment, we are going to have just virtual um, conversations here and help you play the flute. So let's get to it. We have learned three notes uh, yesterday, how to play them, and also how to start them. You remember we give a consonant in the beginning to have a precise start, so we're not going like but we are giving a D sound in the beginning, which is very soft and precise anyway, with the tip of the tongue behind the teeth. Um, not really touching the teeth, but just uh, where the softer part starts. Okay, yeah, this is followed by an imaginative vowel. Um, in Germany, we use the R because it makes your jaw open, go down, and also go a little bit in front. Ah, uh, da. Oh, you can choose a do, it's also good, but with the oo, you close a little bit here. So I prefer the da sound, but you can imagine any vowel you like. Um, the important thing, don't forget to put your pinky of the right hand on the E flat key because this key needs to be open for all three notes, okay? You might not be able to see it in this video, but I will keep this pushed open all the time. Then we have, I'll just um, remember and uh, remind you all those three notes, uh, B, A, G. Those three notes are consecutive and this is what we're going to start with. Just like dancers, we can really um, play a little piece without too much music theory. <laughs> we can count to eight like dancers. They just don't study counting before they dance. They can do that and we can do the same. Um, but we have to give the pulsation ourselves because we don't have any background music for the moment. So we're going to count till four, which is one bar in this case, uh, one segment where we count in and we're going to put four pulsations in it. So we're just going to count to four. One is B, uh, two is A, and three is G. And on the fourth pulsation, we are going to breathe, not in between, okay? So this time we're not going to hold the notes as long as we can, the sounds, we did that. And I hope you all got to at least 10 seconds uh, with the breathing exercises we, we, we redid. And today we're going to keep them just for one pulsation and start a new note again using the right um, articulation. So the da in the beginning of the sound. And the fourth one is where we breathe. Please do not take a breath between every note. Okay, that's something that comes natural in the beginning, but we don't have to. We can breathe for at least 10. We try that. So we will go uh, B, A, G. Pause, and then we go back up. G, A, B. Let's try this, shall we? It will be more or less like this. Okay, let's do it again. I hope this was fine so far. Now we're going to make it a little bit more complicated. Those were consecutive sounds. We're going to put in a little jump. 
So we are going from G right to B and back to G. Pause. So G, B, G, pause. Now a little bit more uh, easier. A, B, A, pause. G, E, E, pause. Okay? So uh, when we start, we go down, we come back up, and then we do the jump. Little, that's not a jump, it's consecutive, and then we will finish on the G. And this is the little piece for today. So let's see if we can do that. From the beginning. sound so that is why we start um, with not too much information because that is what makes a focus to uh, control your airstream don't worry about the sound if it's not too clean uh, just keep it as open as you can your lips you're as relaxed as you can your chin as well as well you don't need to have immediately a very timbric sound it can be very open at the beginning okay it doesn't it doesn't really matter for the start Better it is more relaxed than too much strain. And remember not to smile, huh? because that uh, will not help you with your, what we call embouchure. So how we put our lips and chin part in respect to the flute. Um, remember also the shoulder, not right, don't rise it. Uh, let it be very relaxed and down. So, after only one week, we can pay a play, <laughs> a little piece. And just imagine what we're going to do after one more week. We're going to play an actual melody from a famous opera. Okay, so stay with us. Uh, bear with us for other seven days. And after 14 days, we're going to have a live meeting on Facebook on the 1st of May where you can ask me questions, you can uh, um, write them in the chat, and if you like, we can have a little private, um, a small lesson, a private lesson, where I can listen to what you did in those 14 days and give you some hints. I, my idea is just to help you learn a new skill in those uh, days of lockdown, so I hope you just enjoy and start learning something new and beautiful such as the food, visiting some very beautiful concert halls. So, see you tomorrow.